Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we talk all things hockey. I'm your host Neil, and today we're going to be talking about the Dallas Stars. Now before I get into this video, I have to give a shout out to my friend Fro. He lives in Dallas, and he's a huge Stars fan. He actually sent me this hat. Thanks Fro. So with that out of the way, how will the Dallas Stars end their season? Now this is a tough video to make because I am a Dallas fan, thanks to Fro. Uh, he, he's actually gotten me to watch the team a little bit, and uh, you know what, I was really pulling for them last year, and I unfortunately haven't had the chance to watch them much this year. But I, they are struggling, and that brings me to the sad news of making this video because their outlook for this season, uh, it doesn't look good. But they are a surprising 12-7-4 and four at home, which I didn't realize that's, that's, they're doing much better at home than I anticipated. And uh, they're 7-12-4 and four on, on the road, and they're currently on a one-game winning streak. So they've played 46 games, and they've got 36 games to go. They've scored 126 goals and they've let in 144 goals against. And so they're a minus 18, and that is not good. And, you know, it's it's the same story we've seen the last couple seasons. They've got Letton in, and they've got Niemi, and neither seem to be able to really take the reins and run with it. Uh, it's gone back and forth. Sometimes Niemi, Niemi plays well, sometimes Letton in plays well, and they just seem to, to wish-wash and go back and forth. And they, Dallas can, really can't find a goaltender that really just uh, sticks to their guns and just plays well consistently. It's always been inconsistent. And it's really frustrating to watch and especially frustrating for 100% uh, Dallas fans. So unlike my other recent videos about teams, I've created a ranking system. So if you haven't seen those, definitely go check those out first because I explain the ranking system a bit more in detail. So basically I've created three ranks. I have winnable games on the fence and then losable games. And by losable games, I don't think that the Dallas Stars are going to lose those games. I just mean that the risk for them to lose is the highest. So with that being said and looking at the teams that the Dallas Stars play, I've, I've given a rank to each of the teams. I've added up the numbers and I have their winnable games at 5, I have their on the fence games at 20, and then I have their losable games at 11. Now once we do the math and change that over to, to a percentage, I have a 13.8% winnable chance, a 55.5% uh, on the fence chance, and a 30.5% losable chance. So Dallas has a really, really tough schedule to, to round up the season. They're going to have to work really hard to get points, and unfortunately based on who they play, how many times they play them. I really don't think that the Dallas Stars are going to make the playoffs and probably won't even come close. And I hope I'm wrong. I really hope they do make the playoffs because, like I said before, I am a bit of a fan. But I honestly don't see Dallas getting it done. Uh, I, I go back to the goaltending issue. There's just no consistent netminder for Dallas. It's always been an inconsistency. And uh, the story stays the same this year. It's gone back and forth. And it's very frustrating. So with that being said, that actually rounds out my Dallas Stars video. I thank you guys very much for watching each time you guys come back. I really appreciate it. It makes me happy seeing the, the views go up slowly. If you have any comments, leave them below. And if you're on social media, hit me up at Facebook. I'm at Post to Post Show. And then over on Twitter, I'm at Post to Post Show as well. So if you have any comments, questions, concerns, just let me know. Hit me up on there and we can have a conversation. Or leave a comment on this video and I'll be sure to reply to you there. Otherwise, if it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be making a lot of these videos in the near future. So until the next video, adios.